Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news here in Bachelor Nation. Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comedian and host of Bachelor Nation News. Oh, barrel scraping Dave here, and we've got a big victory for Tasha. She's going to be hosting the MTV Movie and TV Awards Unscripted. How many titles could they put? It's the movie and TV and unscripted. It's basically um, going to be an amazing 15 people watching this. No, I'm kidding, but I'm not. Um, but it'll be uh, airing uh, June 5th. Uh, we'll we'll catch it, I guess, the morning after because I don't I don't know if we'll uh, clear our schedule. But 10 p.m., the coveted 10 p.m. time slot. No, this is a big deal. This is good for Tasha. Let's get into it. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Neils. If you want private membership content, it's the off-season baby, and the Patreon is helping keep me afloat. We have 200-plus Patreon members, and we go live almost every morning, if not every weekday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time and discuss all of the day's news as we build our different Photoshop images and get everything ready. So if you want to see the behind-the-scenes, how the sausage is made, then that's where you go. All right, Tasha Adams hosts the biggest night to be a fan. Well, that's objective, right? Subjective. Uh, here we have it. Um, is there some music or something? Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. It's, uh, it, by, by the way, who's been doing Tasha's arms? She looks fantastic, right? She's been sculpted. I think she's been working out with Zach Clark's uh, uh, personal trainer here. Um, she's glowing, to say the least. Now, this is like her web redemption, right? She couldn't host the After the Final Rose on the last season of The Bachelorette because she was exposed to COVID. And now she's going to be exposed to a fan base that is not... Just Bachelor Nation, which is good. Tasha said, unscripted and undeniably juicy. Uh, guys, I'm hosting this year's MTV Me Movie and TV Awards. Unscripted, airing Sunday, June 5th. Can't wait. You don't want to miss it. And then everyone's like, oh, my gosh, JoJo, major congrats, babe. My Jack, congrats. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. So let's um, let's uh, see what Variety has to say. You know, when you, when you live in Hollywood, you have to know what Variety says about things. And this is an exclusive right here. So... Um, Tasha Adams set to host, blah, blah, blah. Adams, who made her television debut on the Bachelor franchise uh, in 2019 on Colton Underwood's season. Uh, whatever happened to him? I haven't heard from him. We know. Um, he actually just won his own reality show. Um, went on to become the season 16 star of The Bachelorette. Um, of course, after Claire left with Dale, they're no longer together. Every story's connected. You can't tell a Tasha story without leading back to Colton Underwood, Cassie Randolph, Claire, Dale's toes. It's all connected. It, baby because we live in a country where we watch people uh, try to you know pop it under a palapa uh anyway this year the mtv and music uh, the, i can't even mtv movie and tv awards boy that just rolls off the tongue um Mo mtv of course stands for uh what does mtv stand for uh movie what's it music television oh how oh, i forgot that music's involved Boy, YouTube really wiped away needing to see. I mean, listen, if you're my, if you're in your 30s or older, running home. I mean, I didn't have cable, so I'd have to like. I I had friends that I kept as friends only because they had cable TV. Okay, because I couldn't watch it at home. My mom was like, kind of like, uh, she thought, you know, my mom thought like MTV was the devil. Now she's like, you know, on OAN. Right? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Parents are like, oh, you can't watch The Simpsons. It's bad for you. And then they're rotting their soul with OAN. Like, what are we doing, people? You know what I mean? Oh, boy. If our parents only took the advice they gave us. Anyway, so there she is. Um, uh, MTV is now, I guess, just M MTV's what? Who's watching this, right? It, real, uh, just, it's just, it's, it's really become like an e-news kind of reality TV home. I don't know. Anyway, like, uh, it's all like a, it's like a, you know, my, it's addiction and, and three, three day fiance, 48 hour virgin, whatever, you know what I mean? Six minute abs. All right. This year, the no top nominees include Spider-Man, No Way Home with seven nods, Euphoria with six. So she's not going to be hosting this part. She's not going to be hosting anything. Uh, she's going to be hosting the unscripted, which, no, no offense to Euphoria, no offense to Spider-Man, but the unscripted shows not as um, alluring. We've got RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's it doesn't have the, uh, the credentials of HBO's Euphoria, but they got Selling Sunset, which is one of my new favorites. Don't you guys love Selling Sunset? What a good show. I'm on Team Christine. I don't care what you guys have to say. I'm on Team Christine. If you're with me, you're with Christine. Let me know. Let me. I just think, and not to digress, but if we're gonna talk Selling Sunset, I just think Chriselle, um, I don't, I don't like 
how she ended her relationship with Jake. Okay, I don't want to, you know, maybe you're not caught up. I don't want to spoil anything. All right, and then Summer House, haven't heard of that. The show's new honors include Best Reality Return, Best Music Documentary, Best Reality Romance, and Best Reality Star. How funny is it that Taisha her relationship didn't work out on a show about relationships. That's almost like having like the hosts of the property brothers host reality TV, but the property brothers homes all fell apart just like her relationship did. Hey, but that's what happens. You know, she, it's not, not necessarily her fault. She was basically picking up Claire's scraps and she tried her best. You know what I mean? Now she's living her best life. MTV's Bruce Gilmer, Wendy Plot, and Vanessa White, Wolf of Den of Thieves. Well, who are these people? Serve as executive producers. I do like how Variety shares the information nobody cares about. No one's like, who's going to be executive producing the reality show nobody's watching? Last year's main show was hosted by Leslie Jones, followed by Nikki Glazer, who hosted the inaugural unscripted show. Both took place at the Hollywood Palladium. All right, so read some of your comments here. We always like to see what the comments are of our supportive fan base on Reddit. Um, not my fan base. She's hosting the unscripted show where they nominate shows like American Idol, Dancing with the Stars, Queer Eye, Selling Sunset, Talk Show. So focus on reality. Huge accomplishment. This will help her transition into more hosting roles. Um, yeah, that, that, that's awesome. I think Tasha's hosting the second. So everyone's like, okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you're not hosting the main event. You're hosting the second show. It's like, call it what it is. Because the main event has been hosted by Russell Brand, Rebel Wilson, Conan, Amy Schumer, Dwayne Hart, and all the way back to Lisa Kudrow. You want to call the original days, Eddie Murphy, Murphy, Will Smith hosted it in 1994 before, you know, he was canceled by society. So um, she's in good company here. Uh, in 2019, the uh, MTV Movie and TV Awards ratings plummeted. Uh, but actually last year, it um, it shot back up. So who, who knows? I mean, I think it's smart by MTV to have an unscripted version because it's a way for them to shoehorn all of their influencers. You know, it's a way for them to kind of play off of the influencer energy. On MTV alone, the awards ceremony drew 434,000 viewers, less than half the 900,000 who watched on MTV last year. The telecast also fell by more than 50% in adults. You know what's so funny? Listen, not to brag, but <laughs> but here it comes. Uh, not to brag, but let's go to the big screen. <laughs> uh, so MTV had only 400,000 viewers uh, in 2019 on their show. My... Um, my YouTube channel received, how do I turn this off? Uh, my YouTube channel received a million views in the last 48 hours on the Dave Neal show. So that means you guys watching right now out there have supported me double my, you know, nobody here, my dogs, you know, farting on me. There's no production people, no qual. I barely even comb my hair. I don't even button the shirt anymore. Definitely not wearing pants. And you guys have supported me in that sort of way. So I thank you guys so, so much for that. It, it actually is super, it, it means a lot to me. Now, I don't, do I, do I get in a, do I, do I get a little popcorn thing? No, I don't. Do I have room for it? Not really. Would I throw out an old trophy for it? You betcha. So anyway, there was one more thing I wanted to share with you, but I don't know if I can find it. Um, so last year they aired the shows on different nights. This will be a lot better because anyone who fell asleep watching the 8 p.m. version will stay awake for the Tasha version or it will wake up for it and it'll still be going on. So probably better that they're doing it in the same night. Um, uh, so yeah, starts at 8 p.m. It'll be simulcast across BET, BET Her, CMT, Comedy Central, Logo, MTV2, Nick at Night, Paramount Network, Pop, TV Land, and VH1. And will also air internationally on MTV in over 170 countries for a total of 48 viewers. All right, so that's it. Congrats to Tasha. Uh, very proud of you. Um, I think anybody who can get out of the grips of Bachelor Nation will and should. Easy, it's not as easy as people think, though, as she's kind of, uh, uh, you know, I would say, I would say Tasha's definitely on the in the um, in the minority of people that have been able to make their money outside of Bachelor Nation not needing to do a uh, Bachelor Nation podcast or this or that or she did but she left it so kudos to her for having the agents in agency to shoot for bigger things follow me on Instagram at dneals i got stand up shows happening friday and saturday night in chicago and i've got i'm going to be airing um, a, the a conversation I have at DePaul University uh, about The Bachelor. I'm going to be go speaking there with The Bachelor class, um, and I'll be airing that on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. So go sign up there, and we'll talk to you all in a little bit. We'll see you on The Dave Neal Show. Uh, two new videos over there. Bye, everybody. Bye.